favorites and flops. So I have a lot of stuff, so let's dig right in. So one of the first things I had to share with you guys is my new baby. This is a new organizational piece. No surprise because you guys know I'm an organizational freak, but it's by, by Allegory, which is the brand, and they have sent me before their um, lipstick holder and then also their like compact holder. And if you watch my latest makeup collection video, I think I showed both of them in there, if not at least the compact, I think both of them were in there. They're awesome because the acrylic's really, really thick and it's not that expensive. So this is their lip gloss holder. Just hold your applause, ladies. Just hold your applause. How has this not already been a part of my life? This is the most genius idea. I mean, it's literally just like a lipstick holder, but it's way taller. So it holds them all totally upright. I mean, come on. It even holds my little lip liners. They're so cute. I just was ecstatic when they offered to send me this. So thank you to them, and I'll definitely put the link for this product. I'm pretty sure by allegory you buy it through Amazon, but I'm not sure. But I'll definitely have the link below if you're interested. They're awesome. Super thick. I mean, you guys can tell. It's, it's pretty solid. I love it. I just love it. Anyway, okay. So, on to some makeup items that I have been loving. First thing is this Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation. This has been a standout in my collection. It is just this beautiful, kind of marble looking powder foundation. And I have it in Fair, and it's got an SPF of 15, but it just ends up looking so flawless on your skin. You can wear it alone. You can wear it over BB cream. You can wear it over full coverage foundation and just get even more full coverage. I usually, I've used this to set my under eye. I really like it that way too. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. And Laura Geller products, if you haven't heard of them or if you don't know much about them, they're, it's really kind of interesting the way that they make their makeup, but it's basically like baked on like a marble stone or, or something like that in Italy. I mean, it's really cool. Um, but I bought all of my Laura Geller products for like 50 or 60% off on Hotlook.com. I'll also link it below. She's on there. Her products are on there all the time and they'll have like kits with this and a bunch of other things for like 25 bucks. It's insane. So love that product. Another favorite is this Bare Minerals Concealer in Well Rested. This is a yellow toned concealer and by concealer I mean it is a powder consistency but it really conceals and stays put all day it blows my mind I never thought a powder could have that good of coverage but it really does and not only that if you wear it over concealer it really just brightens that area oh I love it so much I use it all the time and it was $18 for the full size but I'm never gonna use this up like ever there's the amount you use like on a daily basis is nothing. I mean, it's like microscopic. So this is gonna last me so long. Another favorite, well, this is kind of a, it's like half favorite, half flop, and I'll explain why. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. What I love is that the wand, there's something about this wand, it's kind of like a, a spider, you know what I mean? It's just, it's so good. But the consistency dries up so quickly. Now, this is a dry formula as it is, which I really like because you can build on it really quickly. And it like, my lashes, it's my favorite look. It's like, they're like velour. They're like just plump and just, I don't even know how to describe it. They're just perfect. And plush, that's the word, they're plush. But it, this dried out so quickly, I don't know if it was because of the trial size or what. I know that you can put some stuff in it to make it kind of revive it, which I am going to try and see how well it works with this formula. But I'm like, oh, I want to buy the full size, but then I'm like, but I don't want to if it's going to dry out in like two weeks. <sighs> Has anyone else had that experience with this? I'm curious because... Oh my gosh, the formula is amazing. I will say though, it doesn't hold the curl as well as I would hope, so I usually will take like my... Palladio Curls rule and just kind of put a sweep of it at the very end just to kind of hold the curl. But the look of this, oh man, I love it. One of my flops for the month is this EOS Balm Stick. Now, I don't remember the shade name, but it's literally the EOS, you know, lip balms, but in stick form. So like in normal form. <laughs> and I was so excited about this because I just thought it was kind of cute and I love the EOS formula, but sometimes I feel kind of awkward in public like pulling out this huge giant ball and putting it all over my lips so 
I was excited to see this in stick form and it's sold on Target's website, I'm not sure where else, but they don't sell it in stores yet, at least not at Target. So it was only a couple bucks, but the formula just dries my lips out. And I was really saddened by that because it smells great. Again, I don't remember what like flavor this is, but they had like three, I think, on the website. But the only EOS balm that has worked for me is the Sweet Mint one, and I don't know why that is. Obviously, the formulas are different, um, and that one works. The rest of them have always dried me out, and this one was no different, so that was kind of a bummer. I wonder if Sweet Mint was one of the other flavors, because if it was, I might buy that one, because I love the Sweet Mint formula. Another favorite slash kind of not, so this is another like half flop. All of my flops aren't like total flops. They're just like there's kind of a drawback to all of them. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have it in the shade Light 2, which is vanilla. Now, upon first glance, I thought this was really kind of gray-toned looking. And I guess my biggest gripe with this, it's nice. There's nothing wrong with the concealer. It's just, it's not amazing to me. And I don't know if it's just my skin or maybe, I, I don't know. I, it, it brightens a little bit, it conceals a little bit, but I wouldn't call it full coverage. I wouldn't say it brightens better than my Maybelline um, Instant Age Rewind Brightener. I love that, and that one brightens like crazy. I just didn't really notice anything that special about this. So I was kind of sad I even wasted the money. You know, and like I said, I almost feel guilty saying because I know there's a lot of people out there that love it. I have friends of mine that love this, but for me it just didn't work as well. So I'll still use it and I will use this sucker up because I spent the money on it and it's not bad. It's still good, but I don't think it's worth all the money that it costs. That's what I'll say. There's a lot better drugstore concealers out there, in my opinion. So, another favorite. This was rediscovered. It's the Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last liner. This is in the shade Aqua Stone and it's just this beautiful bright blue. I actually have it on my lower lash line today and I just love this. These are like two or three dollars. I have a review video just on these and the different colors that Jordana sells because they're like two or three dollars at Walgreens. They stay all day and they're just beautiful colors but this one is my favorite. That's what it looks like in a swatch. Look how just cool that is. Oh, best two or three dollars I've ever spent. I love it. It's my favorite colored eyeliner in the world. Another favorite, and this will probably come as no surprise to some of you guys, is this Anastasia Brow Wiz. I think I have it in medium brown. This sh everything wore off. The shade wore off. Just everything. Isn't that crazy? I hate when that happens. But there's just something about it. I've never found another brow pencil or anything <laughs> that works as well as this does. I mean, a lot of you guys have complimented me on my eyebrows lately, and they're better than they've ever been, mostly because of this. It's just insane. It has the spoolie on one end and then the pencil on the other and it's just a mechanical pencil. This is like $20 or so, but it's worth it. And it's lasted me a while and there's just something about it. I don't know. It just, it perfectly will kind of even out. You can put it wherever you need to do it. It looks real. Like even up close, it looks good. I mean, all of this is my real eyebrow anyway. But if you are missing some, this is your best bet at making it look natural, if that makes sense. I have two brush favorites for the month. One is this Diva Beauty brush. <laughs> it's the B06 Pointed Contour. This is, this might be my favorite brush ever. It, there's something about it. The, it's the perfect density. It's the perfect shape. I've been using it for buffing out concealer, or let me rephrase, not buffing it out, but buffing it into the skin. It doesn't hold on to the product. It just buffs it into the skin so perfectly, but it's not quite as dense as like the F84, I think it is, or whatever one's the pointed one from Sigma. That one sometimes buffs that like where it almost buffs it away. It's too dense. This one is perfect. Oh, I love it. And then this is the Sedona Lace FBO3. It's their Tulip Contour. I've been using this for blush and I freaking love it. You can just kind of see it just perfectly gets the shape you want. Um, mm, I love it so much. Those are both such wonderful brushes. On to some more favorites. One that I forgot how much I love it is the Jergens Natural Glow Lotion. And they now sell it in a freaking pump. How exciting is that? Now, it's like $12.95 for this sucker. I was like, jeez! But you can get the regular size too for like eight bucks, but I had like a dollar off coupon and then like another dollar off thing or it was on sale, so it wasn't as bad, but I love it. And I always get it medium to tan, even though I'm clearly not tan. 
because the fair to light really or whatever it is light to medium it's not it just doesn't do enough to make it even worth it but this it really just give a nice glow now I know you guys are probably looking at me and thinking you do not look tan at all but trust me in person and if you know me I look like probably four shades darker than usual but it doesn't look fake it just looks like I've been out in the Sun a little bit you know I basically I just don't look like a ghost so I've got like fake tanner stuff for when I'm like maybe going out somewhere special and I really want to have a really nice glow. But for every day, this is perfect. It moisturizes well and most of all, it slowly adds that color. I just love it. I really do. And they finally made it where the scent's not as bad. There still is a scent, but it's really not nearly as noticeable as it used to be. Oh my gosh. Another favorite is this Neutrogena shampoo. This is a clearly a clear shampoo meant to basically get rid of all the residue that's built up and left over in your hair after days, weeks, months of using product in it of all kinds, even shampoo and conditioner. So this really just clarifies your hair, it totally gets all of that out, feels very weird after you've washed it, and then I'll just use a nice moisturizing conditioner afterwards just to kind of replenish my hair. But it really is nice. I really only use it like once a week. I don't recommend using it too often because it does really clarify. But I think it'll really dry your hair out. But I love it. And once a week is just enough for me to get all that, you know, the dry shampoo from the week, the hairspray, just all the nonsense that's been in my hair. It really strips it in a good way and I love it. Another hair product I've been loving is my Agave Healing Oil Oil Treatment. They sent this to me and I mentioned in the video where I kind of sort of mini review it. The shampoo and conditioner, it's just not for me. I, it was too heavy on my hair because my hair does tend to get oily pretty quickly. And this is kind of heavy on my hair too, but I've noticed that as long as I don't use too much, it really is nice. It's been protecting my ends, my hair. You can kind of see it's healthier than it has been in a long time. It's just silkier, it's easier to manage, my hair dries faster. I just love this stuff. It's worth the money. Another favorite is my Tangle Tamer or whatever it's called. I found this at Marshalls for like three or four bucks and I'd heard good things and I'm so glad I bought it. I love it. So it's just, it's one of those products that's so silly looking but it is actually amazing. It really, I'm noticing my, I'm losing less hair. It might be a combination of using this as well and then the other brush I've showed that I really like, but this is great, great, great if you're gonna brush your hair out, especially if it's wet, because you shouldn't brush it when it's wet, but sometimes you have to brush it when it's wet. So when in that situation, definitely, I love that. A few other kind of random favorites that I just had to mention, and some of these I've mentioned in other videos, others I haven't. This is my purse that I got from Shop Lately, and I love it so much. It was pretty inexpensive for a really cute purse. It was like, I want to say like $25. I might be way off. Maybe it was like $30. Regardless, I love it so much. It's really small, but it's kind of perfect for summer. I've been wearing it kind of cross body, and it's just been perfect. I've taken it on some weekend trips where we were walking around like at a park, and it was perfect. I mean, it never got in the way, but it could hold more than just a little crossbody could. So it really is the perfect size. I love the color. They have other colors. I'll certainly link um, Shop Lately down below because they have this and like a thousand more cute purses for really better deals than what you're going to find in some stores. Another favorite is my Erin Condren planner. I, in the haul that I did recently where I showed that bag, I had this in my thumbnail and then I forgot to mention it. I act, let me rephrase. I did mention it, but I edited it out somehow. So I never mentioned it. Never mentioned it. Some people just knew what it was. Other people were like, you never mentioned the planner. And I'm like, I am such a dummy. Like, are you kidding me? But this planner is unfreaking believable. And I'm going to be filming, like, actually this week or within the next few days, a um, kind of how I organize my planner. Because, like I've said, I'm a very organized person just by nature, I guess, I don't know. But um, I have some developed some really good tips, I think, and also just some ways that I've made this work for me. And I think it's gonna be really helpful. And I've actually, can you tell, I'm really excited to film it because I've never filmed a video like this before, but I am in love with this. And it's perfect because Erin Condren is releasing their next year planner. And actually it's like 2014 to 2015 on like June 12th. So it's coming up crazy quick and there's even more options than what I got, but um, but it, it'll start like you can get 12 month or 18 month, but the 18 month one starts in July. So when you get it, you'll be like ready to use it. Perfect! 
I'm so excited. You guys are going to love it. If you don't know about this planner, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I can't speak highly enough about it. It's better than any planner I've ever owned in my life. Okay, calm down. So also these shoes I had to show. They're actually my first pair of Sperry's that I've ever owned. And these are these mint green corduroy ones. How stupid cute are these? I've only worn them a couple times, but they're so comfortable. I got them for crazy cheap. Like I want to say these are what, originally like $100 or is it that much? Maybe it's less. I don't really know. Regardless, I got them for like $40 on Hot Look. And actually it wasn't even on Hot Look. It was on their site, but it was through Nordstrom Rack. Like, there's the Hope Look where they have the crazy deals, but then on the site you can go to Nordstrom Rack's website and then just browse their stuff that's always on there, and it was on there. They had these. I bought a pair for my boyfriend for his birthday. Who am I kidding? He knows. I made him pick them out, even though I would have picked out the same ones that he did. But anyway, so we're going to be walking around in our Sperry's in style, looking like nerds. I love it, though. I think his are dark blue corduroy. They're really, really cute. Anyway, so I'll have links for all the things that I said that I would have links down below. Um, and then some and I hope that was helpful and fun for you guys to watch Let me know what your favorites and especially your flops have been for this month I can't wait to read them and please know that I read every single comment down there And I, I know I, I try to comment back as much as I can It's just hard on my iPad. It is not if you've ever tried to comment or let me rephrase reply To a comment on the iPad. It's very difficult. You have to push like 10,000 buttons just to start typing to one person. I'm like, forget it. So I've always got to make sure I got my laptop for that. Whew, that was pointless. Anyway, I hope that was fun to watch and I'll catch you guys very soon. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.